Hello, welcome back to Too Many Handhelds. This is the Blaze Atari Retro Handheld Console. And if Blaze sounds familiar, that is because it's the company that makes the Evercade. So this is the second uh, revision of this device. Um, there was one that came before it, which I actually have here. I had to import this from Britain. But uh, the big difference between the two was this one has nothing on the side of it. And this new one, oof, as I bump the table, has an SD card slot, so you could play all of your Atari Homebrew, which is actually a pretty uh, active scene. There's uh, people that made, there are people that have made versions of uh, Pac-Man in different uh, sizes. So there's like 4K Pac-Man, 8K Pac-Man, and they're really good conversions. But this thing, I just love the aesthetics of this. Like this just screams 2600. It's got 60 built-in games. This one, unlike the original, also has uh, a few 7200 games in it, so there's a bunch of Atari 2600, cool, and then you have uh, five Atari 7800 games here, Food Fight, Desert Falcon, Planet Smashers, Asteroids, and Centipede. So yeah, it's kind of cool. And uh, let's bust this thing open. Now it does have some issues. Um, overall, it's pretty good. Uh, again, the aesthetics of this are amazing. It's not actual wood grain, but it's plastic that looks like wood grain. But I mean, look at this. This just looks so cool. It's got like the Atari logo, the Blaze logo, um, the top here, power on and off, headphone jack, AV out, volume. Um, the D-pad, it's okay. Like it's not great, but you're playing Atari games that you're usually using like a stiff joystick with. So for what it is, it works. Um, you have two buttons, which you only need one, but for the 7200 games, it makes sense to have two, so that's why those two are there. Start and select. And then hitting these both will go to the menu. So, all that said, let's flip it on. The main issue with this is some of the games, the audio sounds very off to me. Um, I'll play Yars Revenge, you'll be able to hear it then. So let's go through the games list real quick. So you have 13 pages of games. And then you can put whatever you want on the SD card, so that's kind of nice too. And it's funny because it's like, it's like Pac-Man, but it's, it's the Atari 2600 version of Pac-Man, so it's not as exciting. But I do like how they, they have a nice menu, they show you the, uh, the box art for it. The menu actually does kind of feel almost like a prototype for the Evercade, so I wouldn't be surprised if the same team came up with that. But uh, let's play some Yars Revenge and you can hear the audio, which is... Very odd, because on the Evercade, the audio is fine. Like, the little bleeps and bloops sound a little different. They might be hard to emulate, I don't know. Atari audio is very specific. Oh, oh I shot myself. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Let's try that one more time, huh? There we go. See here how the audio is just a little off? It's not really off, and to me it's not a deal breaker, but like... It's just like slightly the wrong pitch. It's not like at games bad. But the beginning of that explosion, that little... Blah, 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 that, that just, I don't know, it doesn't sound right to me. And maybe it's because I grew up with an Atari 2600, like if you never grew up with one, it might not matter at all. But this is a slightly flawed but very beautiful Atari handheld, and uh, At Games made their own version of it, which we'll go over at some point soon too. They actually have a new iteration that also is wood grain, possibly copying this, maybe not, I don't know, maybe it's uh, just, they're, they're both very inspired by the 2600, maybe? Uh, but uh, overall, I, I do play it a lot, and I do like this a lot, um, despite putting it in the packaging for this review. Uh, normally it's just out on my uh, shelf. I don't keep it in the plastic. <laughs> but uh, adding this little SD card slot so you could put in homebrew was awesome, and that was a really good idea. And I'm glad they did that. So thank you, Blaze, and uh, thank you for watching this. Uh, always charge your handhelds, and I will see you next time.